in the previous video we talked about uh, the division algorithm. Uh, the division algorithm is not actually an algorithm. It's just a, a fact about mathematics, something that you actually already know from uh, primary school. And is uh, the following. So if you have two integers a and b, uh, for the moment we'll assume that b is positive, then there are always uh, there are six uh, unique integers q and r, and that's important that they are unique so that you have a equals to b times q plus r. Now remember from from the previous uh, video, so we know that uh, that's very familiar, so this number is the dividend. Uh, this b is the divisor. So we can ask, in this case we are assuming that we are dividing by a positive uh, integer. A q is the quotient of that division, so this number right here, this q is the quotient. And this one right here, r, is the remainder. Remainder. So that's something that you actually know from a primary school, maybe not in this way, but that's what it actually says, the, the, uh, the division algorithm. And this other property that you see here, even though uh, it's not an equation like this one, is actually very important. And what this uh, inequality here is saying is that the remainder R is always positive and is always less than the value of B. Now, um, that's, all, that's, all, that's very important, and I will mention that later. It's very important. And it's also very important those numbers Q, the quotient, and the remainder R are unique. So once you find them, for whatever method you use, uh, anyone using some other method will have to find exactly the same numbers Q and R as long as you uh, satisfy this equality and as long as you have that the remainder is between 0 or 0 and B. Now, just to remind you what the integers are, so the integers basically are just uh, these numbers, 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. So that's the numbers A and B uh, that we're talking about here. It could be any of these numbers there. Okay, so in the previous video, you talked you talked about this, and you also did uh, some examples about... Uh, about the division algorithm. So basically it's what you do with in primary school you have to divide and so on and so forth. Now uh, there's an important thing here in this division algorithm and this one uh, this equality here and this inequality is that it's a little bit tricky when you're dealing with negative numbers and the reason for that is the following. So let me give you the following example here. So I'm going to talk about, uh, let's call this uh, example one. So let's say you want to calculate the quotient and remainder so of this division. We're going to take negative one, the number negative one. I'm going to put parentheses there to emphasize it's just a negative number, divided by, let's say, 26. So we want to calculate quotient and remainder of that. And according to the theorem here, the theorem that I have here above, I should be able to find a quotient Q and a remainder R. And if I have R because not equal to zero and less than B and satisfy this equality, then those numbers that I find are unique. So somebody, somebody else using some other method has to arrive exactly to the same numbers as long as you have this condition right here, the equality and this inequality. Alright, so again, the reason I want to talk about this example is because it kind of goes against the intuition that you have about division and the things that you do in primary school. All right, so let's talk about that. So let me uh, choose here the white uh, color. So let's try to do the same as we do with uh, normal division. So I want to divide negative 1. So negative 1 here. Let me choose that. Negative 1 divided by by 26. Okay, so how many times do you think is the number 26 and negative 1? So I'll give you a moment there to think about what you think it is. 
Well, probably many of you already thought that the answer may be zero, right? Um, it turns out that that is not correct. So I'm gonna mark this down here. So you, I want you to think that this is the right thing to do. I'm gonna mark this as this is incorrect. So incorrect, what I'm gonna do in a second is incorrect. So thinking about that, so let's say for example that you say, okay, 26 goes into negative one zero times. So let's put a zero there. So we're, basically what we are saying is that the quotient of negative one divided by 26 is zero. So what do you do next? You take the number uh, zero, multiply it by 26. That's of course zero times 26 is just zero. So it's gonna be zero here. I have to subtract uh, negative one here minus zero. So I have negative one minus zero. So let me choose the Y color, minus zero. I get negative one. Is that okay? Is that a good uh, remainder? Well, it turns out here that the remainder is negative one. Now, what is the division algorithm telling me? The division algorithm is telling me that the remainder of any division is gonna be positive, okay? Well, that's not the case here. We actually want a remainder that is positive. So quotient of zero in this division that's not the quotient. So it goes again the, against the intuition saying that 26 goes uh, zero times into negative one. So that's not the case, all right? So what is then the answer? So before I go into the answer, I wanna mark this down as an incorrect. So you don't, you don't think that this is actually the answer. So I'm gonna do it now the correct way. So let me start again. So with uh, a white pen. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna take it negative one and see how many times 26 goes into negative one. Now I'm gonna tell you the number and you will think that this is very strange that how do I get this number, but it will make sense in a second. Not in a second, maybe in the next video. So I'm gonna say the following, 26 goes into negative one minus one, all right? So let's do the multiplication. So we say, okay, negative one, multiply by uh, 26 is negative 26. That's negative 26. Now remember what I have to do here is I have to take this number and subtract this number right here. So I have to subtract a negative number. So what I'm really doing is I'm gonna take the 26, I'm gonna subtract that from negative one. So basically what I have here is negative one plus 26 and the reason for that is because I have here two minuses. So negative 1 plus 26 of course gives me 25 Now is this an okay remainder? So let's look So this is I'm claiming that this is R And I'm claiming that this is Q now don't worry about now how I got that quotient Q there Okay so what happens here? So let's see if that remainder is actually something that is valid. Is this positive? Yes, it is. R is 25, has to be positive. It also has to be less than B. B is the divisor. So if I go back here to the, uh, the theorem, so here, the divisor B here is 26. R, remember, is 25. In the example, that's uh, 26 is the divisor, so that's okay. Is this equality true for what I'm doing back there? So let me go down here. So here we have the example, is that equality two? true? So let's see. So we have, we need to have that A is equal to B times Q plus R. Is this true in this particular case? Which, what is A here? Uh, why A here is the dividend, so it's gonna be negative one in this case. So A is negative one. So I'm going to remember to replace it right here, so negative 1. Is that equal, so let's put a question mark there, to B. What is B here? B is uh, 26, so let me write that down. Uh, 26 times Q. Q is supposed to be here in this case, negative 1. So that's times negative 1 plus R. And in this case, R, remember, is 25, so that's 25. Is this equation true? Well, it 
yes, it actually is because uh, if you take 26 multiplied by negative 1, that gives you negative 26. And then negative 26 plus 25 is, of course, negative 1. So that means that this is the actual Q. Q is negative 1, and the remainder is 25. Now, you may be wondering why is it negative 1. Now, I'll tell you the, how to get that number later. And that has to be the answer. And the reason it has to be the answer is because, remember, once you have this, inequal this equality here satisfied and the remainder is positive and less than the divisor, which is 25, that's it. That's the answer. There is a unique answer for this. So this has to be the quotient. That has to be the remainder.